Welcome to Unit 5 here at Fosway Classic Car Workshop. We've got a bit of an unusual thing going on this weekend. Chris, who's had his car in here since day one, six years ago, is getting married. And uh, for his stag do, um, his stags, including me, have organised a bit of a car-based caper. So Matt is his best man, who's come over from California, where he now works, um, and is going to explain what the hell's going on. Yeah, so uh, Chris has always been quite into his off-roading. Mm -hmm. um, and quite into his stupid adventures. Uh, so we decided we would go green laning in the most inappropriate vehicle we could think of. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. I like it. <laughs> no, <okay>. Nice. <laughs> Two litre. Awesome. LSD. So it's going to be two wheel drive, it's going to be like every Defender with open diffs. Oh, okay. Awesome. Just 122,000 miles on top. Okay. Yeah. 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 So, I, okay. I think you're going to find you have to put like inch spaces on them. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So we're going to do the lift on this car by spacing the struts down. Um, so we've got one of these for the front, one for the rear. Um, just, just two bits of steel uh, and a bit of tube in between. Uh, that's eight hours of work for the four of them, so yeah. <laughs> Go, 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 go. <laughs> yeah. Mods required. You went out last night in a bit of an impromptu green laning session. Yeah. How was it? Well, it, it actually performed way better than uh, I think what any of us expected. So. <laughs> Uh, the LSD in the rear, I think, is doing a mega job of just pushing it forward. Yeah. And with the correct wheel placement of um, one side on the bank, one side in the middle, yeah. uh, trying to avoid sinking into the ruts. Yeah, don't, don't beach it, basically. Yeah, don't, yeah we, we did get it beached a few times, uh, learned that lesson the hard <laughs> way, and then realized we had to totally change the uh, driving style. Yeah. So, um, and the, as it happens, the driving style is foot to the floor, don't lift. Because yeah. as soon as you lift, then uh, you get stuck. What's happening at the moment? Obviously, the, if the main event's tomorrow and everyone else turns up, what, yeah. what's been happening today? So um, basically, we're working out how big of a challenge we've got on our hands, I think, is mm. the, the short story. So um, the guys have mounted, uh, mounted the spare wheel down here, um, which is a, uh, it's a T1565 R16 um, on a modular steel wheel. Um, and basically, uh, we're offering it up to the car with uh, the suspension spacers just tacked into uh, position. How uh, many people are you expecting tomorrow? Um, I think in total there will be 14 of us. I think. Bloody hell. Okay, so but, it's going to be really uh, full yeah, on. But yeah. There's only a day to do it, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah.
past 11 and uh, it's been a really really long day uh, you've been up for your first drive how was it yeah it was good the car still drives pretty well we had a few teething problems uh, the first being the calipers were actually rubbing on the inside of the steel wheels so um, much worse on the passenger rear corner uh, we could hear it on the drive the others were a bit more subtle but um, yeah the guys were taking an angle grinder to uh, a flat wheel to the uh, calipers to generate a bit more clearance, so Excellent. that's been solved. Yeah. Um, we smashed one of the front arches actually. The guys replaced it with one from the other set, which was much more kind of flexible. So. Where, where are we headed then? So tomorrow, um, we're getting up nice and early and we're uh, heading into the middle of Wales. So probably a good three hour drive there or so. The beautiful Elan Valley, I think. Yes, it? I think that's the plan. Uh, Elan Valley and then see where the wind takes us, depending on how well this survives and, uh, and other things. Mm -hmm. 